is it even a start to the vlog without my robe? <laughs> Hello guys, I am back. What's up? How are you? How are we? I have a very special week and it's just kind of taking you guys in on what I just do, my work week. Today's Monday. We have a shoot on Thursday. We're flying to Cali. Tonight I'm going to dinner with my friend Bailey. My cousin introduced us a while ago. She's the best. She's amazing. You guys are going to meet her and we're going to Sugarfish, which is my favorite place on the entire freaking planet. I'm just excited to eat some good food and be with some amazing company and we get to just catch up and I haven't seen her in a while. I just love some one-on-one -on -one friend time. It's just the best. And I feel like sitting down with a few hand rolls in our bellies is the best answer. I think I'm just gonna wear literally like my go-to lazy girl dinner fit. A sweater, jeans, just some type of boot or sneaker or loafer and just a really comfy coat. That's just like my go-to because your girl just doesn't have time to be cold. I swear, me looking cute in the winter is me being in this robe. Like, Tekla, hi, how are you? <laughs> Please, if you if they would send me or if I like I'm very close to purchasing like more robes I will literally only be in robes. I actually really like this Ilias concealer. It's very glowy. It's kind of dark right now for me, but for now it'll do. Anyways, you guys know I love my fashion. You guys know I love my outfits, but I'm sorry when it's 30 degrees outside, it's just kind of hard to get out of those trenches. That's why when people are like going out and this and that, I like don't like to go out when it's cold. This past weekend, it was legitimately 20 degrees. You have to focus on the feel, right? It feels like 15 or feels like 18. One morning, it felt like eight degrees. Oh, hell no. Once you catch me with that, with crickets. I literally was inside all weekend. I had the best weekend. I played Sims. I think I told you guys in one of my vlogs or I don't know what it is. It's on my TikTok though. So if you want to see me like very unfiltered, even though I feel like on this platform, I'm very, very like it is what it is on TikTok, especially I do on a daily basis. So I played Sims all freaking weekend. My boyfriend even was like, Dub, take a chill pill enough. Oh fuck. I used the wrong brush. He was playing matching mansion and I was fully just playing Sims and we weren't even talking to each other for like a good solid five hours and we're like okay i think we should get up and i think we should migrate and do something together and watch a movie or we're just not going to talk to each other all night <laughs> that was my weekend literally walking leo outside to pee and playing sims so that's my vibe these days. I used to play as a kid. Like I loved the YouTube gameplay videos. They would be like what I watched, like Netflix, no. Let me know if you guys are like simmers cause I'm actually very curious. <gasps> it would be fun if I did a Sims gameplay on my account. Should I do that or is that too exposed of like myself and my quirks? That might be weird to some people. But anyways, I don't think I wanna do anything crazy. I'm not gonna put mascara on. I think I'm gonna keep it like pretty natural some lips but that's kind of my skin right now my hair is in the trenches as well so i'm gonna just put a headband and put a little high pony sitch that's basically it that's the light easy makeup for the night all right guys this is my outfit i'm obsessed it's very chill but i'm wearing this top from realization these are a goldie i believe i don't know and these sneakers are wales bonner and adidas it's very chill i'm gonna throw on my Ritzia super puff we have no time to look you in the winter I'm telling you, this is like my go-to. Sugarfish, here we come. The prettiest girl in the world. Okay guys, I went to dinner with Bailey. We talked about way too much. I love her so much, so it was such a good dinner. And now I'm meeting up with Gabe because he's had a long day, so I'm just gonna wait for him to walk back home, but back home. I want to show you guys quickly what I got. Some things I purchased on the sale and just a few things that I got in and a few things that I got scammed by through TikTok shop. <laughs> I was the one that made fun of my mom for buying stuff on the TikTok shop and then like look at me now like clown behaviors but I got this Josie Moran oil. I'm gonna go through this quick because I'm gonna show you guys what I actually purchased myself. Bluetooth speaker! A exfoliant sponge. Got a little duck. Got some string Things. The OGers know that I would use this 
all the time in my phones and I kind of want to bring it back. And then I want to show you guys a few of the things that I got at the Essence sale because that's exactly what I'm most excited for. Aw, so cute. On our string team goes Devin, the OG, sending big love and beads. She would send me like when I had literally zero, zero followers and she was so cute. So love you. All right, the first thing that I got and... I'm really excited to kind of grow this like side of my brain with you guys. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it, especially on Instagram. I'm starting this little project that I'm so excited about surrounding my passion. I've always loved interior design, but I just never felt a way to like tap into it or like how to best navigate it. I've just decided on one thing and I think it's going to be really, really good and I'm really excited to kind of bring it to life, kind of grow it out. Also ordered a few books for me to read into it. Yeah, that's just a hobby and passion that I want to really focus on this year. I got these two mugs. My boyfriend said more mugs, Dev. I'm obsessed with mugs. I like collect them at this point, but I just think they're so like, I don't know the art behind them and how they're just distorted and how they're painted. I just think they're so cute. I'm obsessed. This is just perfect for my coffee in the morning. Got a few jewelry pieces just because fashion week, I kind of wanted to just prep for a few things. In the past with some of my outfits, I lack in like the jewelry category. I've realized like I'll always wear like these gold necklaces and this and like all my rings. These rings will stay, but I feel like I can like change it up with like my earrings or like my necklaces and stuff. So I got this first one from Mondo Mondo. I'm a big jewelry gal. So there's no reason why I should be lacking in that department in that sense. Like I should style jewelry more, you know? I got this really cute heart pendant. I got one actually. Remember when I went to Greece, guys? I got this heart one and I posted on my story and then it was everywhere on Pinterest and then everyone asked where I got it from and I got it from literally like a vendor in Greece and then look now there's this heart and it looks very very similar but I just love it like layered over all of this is so cool well, this is definitely a keeper in my opinion okay so it like lays like over here I feel like that's kind of like a cool touch got these earrings from Acne Studios do you see they're like little chandelier earrings are you kidding me? Everyone needs their pieces to elevate a look. I got this Justin Cleo, which I love Justin Cleo. Really pretty earring. I like the detail. I got one of these earrings that like goes like this and then it comes with this side, which is really cute. It's like a stud. I got another piece from Mondo Mondo. It's my new favorite like jewelry company now is Mondo Mondo. I just love their stuff. I think it's so unique. Look how sick this is. And I just think it would be so fun. Just like even layer on the gold. Ooh. I got this really pretty cashmere headband from Mimer Diaries. And then I got a pink one. Look how cute they are. These poster girl, they're kind of fancy club-ish, but these poster girl pants that I think are sick and they kind of like fold over. You could layer it in the summer with like a big graphic t-shirt and like flip flops, like that's that's cool. And obviously some of this jewelry. I always like to think outfits through in my head and if it, if it comes to fruition, then I'm a happy camper. I got this mini skirt from Lado Boku Shaba. It was like a cute little mini and I thought that it could be cute in my collection just to have because I don't really have like solid mini skirts. Package from Susa Musa. I don't want to open it yet because I actually, let me just take a picture of this now. All right, let's open it. From Susa Musa. I'm so grateful for all of the brands and companies that send me stuff because it just like makes me so happy and just to feel like someone acknowledges how I style stuff and like what I do. I feel like I started so out of nowhere and it's just crazy easy to still even think that I get to do all this. It's so rewarding and I don't know what I would do also if I didn't have you guys because then I would not be able to do what I do. So back to the haul. Mesh red dress. It is fire. I want to wear this for fashion week. Fashion week is coming up. We're really thinking about that guys as a, as a group and as a family. What does Debbie wear? I think this red maxi dress could be really cute. Styled with some funky boots. <gasps> I got this turtleneck top. This is so chic with like buttons on the side. I've always wanted like a very fitted turtleneck. I just think it's so classic with like even capris and a belt. 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I'm happy about that one. And then I got this really pretty long sleeve. So cute. All of these are nice little basics. I love me some basics. Thank you to all the brands that sent me stuff. Oh, I also forgot about this one. I just think it's so fun to go through things that you like actually get or sorry, purchase. I got these boots from, I'm pretty 
pretty sure Mista. Yeah, so from Mista. If these are not me and a boo, I think that's it for me for the essence sale. I don't really shop a lot, a lot for myself often. And then when I do, I like take it overboard. And then I'm like, come on, like that wasn't necessary. 2024 is a year of saving up. I should see Leo. Leo's following Gabe around it's like a freaking like mouse. These are the boots. Do you guys see? I'm not sure if they're too tight. I think they're fine. Cause I feel like once you walk, just get loosened up, but I love them. I love the color. I think they're sick. And I feel like with even like a jean, like so, it's like really cool. And I love the square toe. And I think this is like a cool look even for fashion week, just to like have a tough jean moment. Made some coffee in my new cute mug that I got on Essence. I love a good mug. Anyways, I am going to do a little bit of work. I have aloe at 11 a.m. I usually do Pilates. I find that Pilates really changed my body in a good way. And I just feel very strong. I'm going to go with Issa. She's going to be in the class too. I'm honestly also so sad. Not sad because like I feel always so bad when people are sick. I'm leaving for a shoot on Thursday and I have it on Friday. And I was going to go to my hairstylist tomorrow and get my hair blown out. I need to do my keratin when I get back from my shoot so it could be fresh for fashion week and I just I'm like okay I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait so I can get it fresh for fashion week and she got COVID so that's a little bit sad but she got COVID and now I'm like what the F do I do I feel so bad that she got COVID but it's like just the timing I'm like oh what do I do now look at this fucker look at this fucker he just ran outside the hallway you are a rug rat. Anyways, so that's a little bit of a predicament that we're in. Um, I think we'll figure it out. Everything works out, but you know when you're just so looking forward to something and you're like, ooh, I'm gonna like feel myself again. I'm gonna feel like perfect or whatever, not perfect, but you know what I mean? Like you're looking forward to something. I'm gonna do some work and then we're gonna get ready for aloe and then I have a few things to do later. If you guys are watching this in the morning, I hope you guys are having an amazing morning. Yummy. The dolls. <laughs> I'll finish. All right, I have a meeting um, literally in 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna try to hurry up and get all my stuff done before and just throw on this set I have. Finishing my coffee, look how cute the mug is. I keep fixating over this mug, I don't know why. We're gonna just do some light skincare, have my lemon water ready, ready for the day. I actually feel really good that I got a little sauna in. Chanel beauty package. This is the first time I got this much product in. I'm so beyond grateful. I think it's just a bunch of new products. Oh my god. Ah, I'm freaking out. Um, what the heck? We have a bunch of blushes, glow primer, lip products, two nail colors, this really beautiful hydration mist, more lipstick, face mask, face creams. There's so much in here, I'm freaking out. I am always like so grateful to receive anything. So the fact that Chanel Beauty sent me all this, I'm so excited to play around with it. Wow, it's literally dreamy. Anyways, I did all my work today. I have a work dinner tonight, so I'm just gonna quickly get ready. We're gonna go to Corner Bar, which I'm so excited about. It's so yummy there, and it's so vibey. I'm really tired though. I got my period. I do not feel too hot. I'm like, I'm not feeling right. Like, I feel a little bit off today, so I hope that I kind of feel a little bit better. I think I'm gonna make an espresso just to kind of like feel back to life. I feel a little off. I don't know. It kind of sucks, but. It is what it is. I'm gonna get ready because I literally have to leave in 30 minutes. Of course, running late per usual. Back in the typical recording station. I'm gonna do some easy makeup. I really like this top though. I feel like it's really fun. I'm like, should I save it and not wear it tonight? But I just do find that it's a perfect top. I could always rewear it. I don't think I'm gonna take any crazy pictures tonight or anything. Cause I'm literally just going to dinner at Corner Bar and then I'm stopping by this event really, really quick. This top is from Susa Musa. These jeans are from Redone. They they have the best jeans. I think they're very, very baggy and it feels like you've had them forever. So definitely check out Redone jeans if you don't have a pair. Really good investment. And then I'm wearing these Sebastian.
Sebastian Milano boots. You know what I always struggle with? I'm like, how do I style high boots? You know what I mean? I always want to like tuck in my jeans, but then I look kind of cuckoo. And it sucks because I just love the tucked in kind of moment, but it just doesn't look as planned, you know? It doesn't look like you're like ready to go. It looks like you kind of forgot to tuck in your jeans. That's the only issue I have ah! with these. Oh, oh, oh my God. Shit. I love a good boot. They're gorge. But like you see, tucked in. I mean, actually, not too bad. Let's get the coat. A crisp Ghani coat over. I'm not mad about a little cuffed moment, actually. And then my purse, because I didn't have time to change my purse, so I don't mind it. I feel like it's kind of cool. Some quick lip liner. Am I doing this right? MAC Espresso is the best. For my dark skin gals, you gotta get it. Also the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Tuck Intense. I talk so much about it, but be right there. It's always be right there. Shit, I can never be on time. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I love you guys so much. I hope I have everything, but I will keep you guys updated throughout the night. Food coma. Done with dinner and now I'm going home. I missed the event I was supposed to go to. So, at least I get to go home and see Leo and Tanka. Kind of sad I missed it, but honestly, we had a really good dinner and 10 out of 10 drinks. The best Pomodoro ever. If you want a good Pomodoro, go to Corner Bar. So good. Good morning, my girls and boys and all of the above. It is 10 14 I just did like an everything shower because I leave for LA tomorrow and I'm getting my hair blown out I have to leave for like in an hour and a half I just wanted to do like everything I needed to do like shave I don't I don't shave like I shave my armpits but I don't shave my legs so I looked at my legs and I was like is not giving this especially with the shoe coming up so I wanted to do like an everything shower before anything happened now I am making my coffee this was a really good french press my mom actually got it as a gift for me because she knows how much i love coffee so thanks mom thanks lucy it's very hot so it stays hot like i let it brew for like 15 minutes it stayed really hot as you can see i'm using the same mug because you know what <laughs> i get lazy sometimes and i don't really care there's a little bit of lactate milk i've been drinking real milk now and i've been feeling way less bloated it's so interesting how certain things can just help you out because i was like i feel so bloated my stomach hurts so much like I would get such painful bloating and then I switched to whole milk and I was fine It's so interesting and I've heard like alternate stories like vice versa I hope everyone's grabbing their cup of coffee or matcha or tea Mmm, literally delicious I look forward to my cup of coffee every morning That's why I get up <laughs> so embarrassing but seriously i literally love coffee so much like i don't know how i could how i could do it i'm gonna do emails and watch some sex in the city just background because i have to focus and then i actually have to film i might have to do it before the airport tomorrow but i just wanted my hair done for the video so anyways i also wanted to speak on something i know this is like a work week in my life but i always say this to you guys how grateful i am for you guys but i'm also really grateful for this career in general and to get to this point and i'm not perfect i'm literally not at the point that i'm like oh my god look at me like not at all i am very lucky to have flexibility and just have a career where i can be so creative and have the time to do certain things like get my hair blown out work out every day or like have the chunk of time like that hour to work out you know obviously this career is not like an easy easy career there's different things that go into it and a lot of behind the scenes which i plan on sharing a lot of behind the scenes with you guys especially this year and that's why i'm filming this week so you guys can see a little bit of the shoe and kind of like the travel day and what goes into it but i'm just very grateful to even be able to have flexibility throughout my day so productive for me might not be the same for all of you guys if you guys are in internships or if you guys are working and who knows like you guys are all doing which i actually am very curious as to what you guys do or even if you're in school or in college but even when i was at notre dame like i didn't have that much flexibility other than like senior year when i had like minimal classes i applaud everyone that has you know that grinds and works hard i think that's what i always try to push is like working hard and being confident and just doing things that make you happy and trust me i get it whoever's in college like notre dame was not easy at all and it's just so ironic that I landed in this position 
and I think you guys know the backstory. It all started like during quarantine and I think I've explained this to you guys and I did it, I did this as like just like a passion because I just have always loved fashion. Ultimately, my mom didn't let me, my whole, my dream college was FIT and my mom didn't let me go. Like she just, or, or my family, they didn't understand that concept and they did not let me go or even apply or even try to pursue those things. Not in a negative way, I'm not talking like shit about them or anything. They've always pushed education for us, pushed intelligence. I am also grateful to have that opportunity in college and so I try to take that over into my career now. You know, I have a lot of big goals. And so I think it's really nice that I, I got that opportunity because even every day, like what I do now, I try to always maintain a sense of urgency. So I'm not falling behind. I try to always like push myself. I try to wake up really early. If I do carve out time to like work out or whatever, I try to make sure that it doesn't interfere with my quote unquote work day. My sister just took the MCAT. She's visiting next weekend. <laughs> and I was so excited to have her here here because literally the whole time during Christmas break, she was just studying. She only took Christmas off. I applaud all of you guys who are in college, who are in difficult careers, who are just grinding and just taking these tests. Kudos to everyone. And I know that, you know, you just have to find balance. So I hope my videos bring a sense of comfort and like, you can take a pause and a breath of air. That's just my whole goal with this. Yeah, I just wanted to say I get it. And if you guys want me to answer more about like my college experience or anything, because that could be useful for you guys. If you guys are applying to colleges or if you guys just like want to know more about like my college experience, definitely let me know. I'm not saying like, oh my gosh, like applaud me, I did that. But just little things about my past that I don't speak about a lot. And also like my strict upbringing. I was raised so strict, but also I'm the Oldest, so that comes with being the oldest. I was culturally raised in a certain way and in a strict way, so I don't know. But I'm very proud of you guys and whatever you're doing. And trust me, I'm always here for you guys. If you guys DM me, I'm always answering my DMs or even in the comments below. And I just wanna chat with you guys. So if you guys like need me or if you guys are taking a hard test or anything or you like you're studying, I'm here for support. I'm here to say that I get it and I'm here with you. So yeah. I just wanted to quickly say that and I love you guys so much. I think it's important to just keep telling you guys that because I genuinely mean it from the bottom of my heart. Now I'm gonna drink my coffee, do some emails. Leo is just playing next to me, little Leo. Taking baby Leo on a walk. <laughs> to my friend's apartment and just honestly you low-key forgot to vlog plus i was just so tired but i'm back home i'm trying to bring the packages back inside also i love this puffer it's from tommy hilfiger not sure if i told you guys this but so warm 10 out of 10 um and yeah i'm so happy to be back i have a nail appointment at 6 30 right now it's about 5 45 and she's gonna come over she's so sweet i didn't have time to do it at her studio so she's gonna come over and I'll put her at on the screen. And if you guys live in New York, you should definitely get your nails done by her because she's so good. And we still have to pack. We still have to organize. And I still want to cook dinner and I'll show you guys what I cook. Look at my nails. They look really, really nice and chic for the shoot. Say sent me a package. Look how cute it is. I got the Glowy Super Gel, a bunch of the blushes, which these are my favorite blushes ever. I actually have to go through and clear out my makeup because look how much blush we got. I love this stuff. And then I got the fluffy brush, which is a powder brush. <gasps> I got, what is this? A mirror? Gabe's gonna tell me to recycle that. Oh my gosh, I got all of the blushes. If you guys want like an updated makeup routine, which I have one on my Insta, but if you want another one on YouTube, let me know. We're gonna start cooking. I'm gonna make some bonza pasta with pesto and some, what's it called, cod? Cod with veggies. Put a bunch of different seasonings, like lemon, paprika, crushed red pepper, kind of inspired. This is the best pesto ever. If you guys don't fucking try it, you need to try it. It's so good. It's the Gotham Greens classic pesto, and it's made with pine nuts and fresh basil, parmesan. It's just really, really good. I'm gonna put the fish in right now. And this only goes in the oven for like 15 minutes. 
not that long. I usually just kind of eyeball everything. <laughs> I like to take this time to kind of clean up my space. My mom always says, when you're cooking, clean up as you go. It just makes you enjoy the meal more. So I'm gonna try to just clean up, get stuff in order. Again, I leave tomorrow and I have nothing packed. And I think I'm gonna just do like very simple things. I'm not gonna try to like go crazy with the fits because you know, it's just a work trip, but I hope I could see my LA gals when I'm there. That would be nice. Also, let me know if you guys want more cooking vlogs. So, we've always wanted, right? Dinner is served. We have some tomato on the side. I love Amazing. just plain tomatoes That's with some okay. olive oil and some salt. So. Also like to squeeze some lemon on it. And then we have the bonza pasta with spinach right. and we have this beautiful cod with peppers. Yeah. Cod is elite from Costco or any type of fish. Trust me, you will want to get your fish from Costco. Also, I'm like a weird Costco obsessor, lover. I'm a weird Costco lover. On my way to the airport. That's so sad when I left Leo. Okay, but it's fine. I'll see them so soon. <laughs> I've literally only gone for two nights. Like, why am I being dramatic? I don't think I can say what I'm doing really, like, specifically, but it's a shoe. I'm really excited. I love tapping into the model side of things. <laughs> this hotel called Hotel Oceana and it's so pretty. Look at the room. Oh my god, it's adorable. I'm still in my airport fit. Issa and I were supposed to stay together, but they just decided to give us our own room, which is nice. So this is the worst fit ever, but whatever. This is from Brandy Skims. Wales Wanner. But this bed looks comfortable and I'm excited to sleep in it. Look at this bathroom. <gasps> Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. You guys know I love interior design. This is a very pretty, well-designed beach hotel and I'm actually obsessed. Now Issa and I are gonna go eat the air one that we got because we're starving and then we have a fitting soon, so. Got the goods. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so excited for this. <laughs> and then Issa got that too. Uh -huh. <laughs> The salad is so good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Some tuna poke. I put lasagna, broccolini, cauliflower, and some rice. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> we did a fitting and we also did a little like rooftop cocktail situation. So we got to meet the art director and we got to meet other girls that are on the shoot with us. There's four of us on the shoot. It's at this really pretty like estate looking house and it's stunning and I'm so excited. Tomorrow we have to be downstairs at 6.45. So I am so tired. I'm extremely jet lagged. Issa's is getting her nails done right now. But I'm gonna shower, just get ready for bed, do some skincare. I was just on the phone with Gabe. We're planning a really exciting trip in April, but I'm so beyond exhausted. I cannot wait to shower and just feel myself again. I feel like very depleted. I'm also like very dehydrated. Today was like a weird day for me. Like, I don't know what. I think it's just a time difference. Or maybe I think it's also like what time we left. We left at 11 a.m. and that just like threw me off. And like we landed at 2.30 here and then it was like we went to Erwan, then we came here, then we had the fitting, then we went to the rooftop. I'm still in my airport clothes. Like I just need to like get back to what I'm used to. <laughs> the best mask ever. He said if we go with these, my suggestion is similar to penthouse suite. Sure to get all the juices for your neck and your hands. Time to wind down. Time to wind down. I'm gonna go talk to Hanka, do some work on my computer, and wind down. And then we'll come back in a little bit. But look, I'm in my robe and I feel way better. OMG. <laughs> Good morning. Today it's Friday. I'm in my outfit for the shoot. I literally woke up and had like 10 minutes to get ready for the shoot. But we're meeting downstairs right now. Like I'm running late, so I have to just literally run out the door. Very excited for it. I'm bringing my Jordan and my hair slick because trust me, you need this. 
I really recommend that face mask. Like my face looks like very bright and usually after flights, it just looks like depleted and not smooth. So 10 out of 10, I need to use that face mask more, especially for after the flight, it was like the perfect thing. I'm wearing this vintage long sleeve and I'll show you guys the rest of my outfit, but I'm running late. So let's try to get a move on with it. I packed a little purse. I'm wearing this leather jacket. These shorts are from Daniel Guizio and then I'm wearing these ballet flats from Margiela or MM6 Margiela and I really like them. They're very like comfy and cash. This is the fit. A little crossbody from Marge Sherwood. Okay, we gotta go. Wow, we just arrived like, to shoot. Yeah. It's such a pretty yeah. house. It's like a yeah. huge estate and I feel like I'm in Europe. Maybe it's different now. <laughs> I'm waiting for coffee because I need coffee so bad. I'm so tired. Guys, I already ate but this yes. is the delicious breakfast. It's so yummy. Time. Getting makeup done. So cute. Wow, the makeup looks so good. You did it so natural and pretty. Thank you. Good morning. I am getting ready to leave. I just quickly packed and I barely packed anything. So it was like super easy to pack everything. I can't believe I'm going on this flight. I feel like I just literally got here and then I left. I mean, I know it's for work, so it's fine, but it's throwing me off how much I traveled and then like I'm leaving back again, which is totally fine. But you know, I wish I was like a pro traveler. I don't know how people travel for literally like a day to things and then just like easily go back. It's so hard for me, but I'm excited to get home. I'm excited to see Leo. I'm excited to see Gabe. Tomorrow I have a full day of just like filming. I have a few things to film that are due on Monday and then I just want to get some like of my own content done. Also I feel like whenever my hair like looks nice I'm like okay time to get the content done but it was a really nice trip and I got to meet some lovely ladies and I love being a part of something that has like such a great team. I am going down to get some quick breakfast. I don't think it's included but you know what we have like a stipend every day yeah i just want i just want to eat some nice good breakfast and have some coffee and relax i literally put my alarm for 8 a.m i literally woke up at like 7 o'clock or maybe even 6 30 i don't know why i woke up so early went to bed at 12 so i'm like ugh. i feel like i really didn't get that good good of sleep but it is what it is maybe i'll just sleep more on the plane i love my me time like i'm so fine going and like eating by myself and just chilling so i'm not mad about it i'm pretty excited actually just to like read and chill there's a car picking me up at 9.30. It's 7.55, so I feel like I have a good enough time. It was really nice to come out here and shoot this campaign. Excited for you guys to see it. I can't really say who it's with yet. It's a very, very big OG brand, so I think you guys will really enjoy it, and it's gonna be in stores, so when it's in stores, make sure to check it out. I'm so grateful. I need these opportunities. I'm so grateful to just travel, even though I feel like the time zone really messed me up this trip, and I wish I could see more of my friends when I was here. Amelia was here. Obviously, Lexi's here. Here, Courtney, Jaden, like everyone's here. Lydia, Issa, and I didn't have enough time to see her because we were up both on the shoot together. She's going to have stuff for a few days, so it's just me now. Let's get some food in our stomachs. Reading this book, The Silent Wife, and it's actually really good. It's been like a busy past few days, so it's been hard to just read, but I read in the restaurant and on the plane, so I think that should be good and I should finish by then. It's 9.15, I have about like 15 minutes to go on a walk. I feel like I need to walk and digest my breakfast. So we're gonna go on a nice pretty walk. A girly walk. Also guys, I'm so excited. We're planning a trip. I told you guys I wouldn't tell you guys, but honestly, you guys can tell me in the comments some suggestions. I think I'm going to Thailand for my anniversary. I feel like that would be sick. I feel like I'm kind of running late on time. So I kind of want to just get out there. Just see the beach, you know? Like, just see the water. That's like my vibe right now. The driver's gonna come and I don't want to keep him waiting. I hate keeping people wait. So I'm just gonna try to be like quick, even if it's just like for five minutes, but just to like walk and just get some sun on my face. <laughs> I'm so sad. The driver's already here. I should have known that like, they always come so early. I don't have enough time to go on a walk. It's so crazy because I woke up so early, but I spent so much time at breakfast and I read. I was just on the phone for so long with different people people and I literally lost track of time and I should have accounted for a nice like 30 minute walk. I'm so annoyed. I would have loved to walk. It's fine. Oh, it's so pretty out. It is what it is. Is anyone like this? I hate being at the airport too early. I don't know what it is. Like I like to be there like literally just an hour before. I'm grateful there's someone to pick me up but at the same time I'm like 
Fuck. Really wanted to go on a walk. Really just texted him, asked if I could just go on a quick walk. Like even 10 minutes. Like he's supposed to pick me up at 9.30. But even like 10 minutes. I would so appreciate, but I don't think there's time. I also don't want him to wait for me, so. A walk in cold New York. <laughs> you guys, any suggestions for Thailand? I'm really excited to go. I want to do something different. I've never been to Asia, but it's just like intimidating because obviously I've never been there, which is totally fine. And I'm so excited to like get immersed in the culture. And I am a sucker for culture. Like I love trying new food. I love just learning. So I'm really excited and I'm just going to like go on all these tours and everything. But I also want to make sure that I like do like local things. We're thinking Bangkok first, Krami, and then Phuket. We are still kind of working logistics and itinerary. So if you guys have any suggestions, like please let me know. I definitely will put that into account. That would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Still feel like I am exhausted. I think it's just because I haven't slept that much. Good morning. It is Sunday. I passed out after my flight. I like couldn't even vlog or do a single thing. I just needed to literally pass out. I was so tired. I landed at like 8.45 or 8.30 and then it just took a while to get back home. Now I am back at home and I have to show you guys what Gabe made me. He's surprised me. I needed more space for all my stuff, so he made a little shoe and purse cabinet. This is not done yet, but look how cute. It's so spacious, so I can just put like boots, purses, all my sneakers, so I'm very excited because I need way more space. I'm excited for that. I'm gonna try to organize all of that today. The reason why I got it is because I have all these new shoes. I fucking couldn't resist myself during the sale. I'm sorry. I have all these purses like tucked in here because I have no space for them. These shoes are fine. They're like my summer shoes in those cabinets, but I need to like close them and figure out what's still in there. All these boots, I need to bring some down. All of this will go because all my purses are going in that cabinet, so I actually do have more space for more boots here. So that is the concept. You also put up the Jolie shower head and I'm obsessed. I mean, just got like the shiny silver color. I took a shower yesterday and you know, I don't know if it's placebo, but I'm like, ooh, my skin feels so much better. I feel like might as well try it and I'm trying to get into all things health this year just to like, you know, help me a little bit. Thank you Jolie for sending that over. I'm excited to like see the difference and yeah, I need to organize today. I need to film some reels that are due tomorrow. I have a lot of just like tidying up and housekeeping stuff to do today and work. I just want to make sure that I am on track for fashion week coming up because it's approaching and I just want to make sure that like I'm good, you know? I also want to plan my outfits before. I never did. I was like, oh, F it, like whatever. And that was just disastrous. So I want to start planning just random ones, even if it's for events or dinners or anything. So I'm not like scrambling. And then I want to take a picture of it and just have like a little folder on my phone. So I'm trying to just be that girl in 2024. That is the plan. I have all of this jewelry literally here. I have four trays of jewelry. Let me know if you guys want, first of all, another giveaway. I have so much to give away. I'll show you guys the two cabinets that I have. Just because I love doing giveaways, I moved this over here, but like, look, I have so much to give away. Two whole cabinets of just like crazy good stuff to give away. Let me know if you guys would want one. And if so, I will do another Google form and then pick two winners and send it to you guys. I unfortunately made the mistake to make it worldwide and with like I think post COVID they really made things more strict about shipping and especially products so I'm gonna have to just make it US unfortunately but also if you are international for the ones that I couldn't send to I did offer to like send them a gift card or something of the sorts if that also is something that you guys are interested in let me know because I'm so down to do like a international gift card giveaway it was a fun but exhausting work week and I hope you guys just enjoyed everything that I've shown you so far in this week because it's about to be even better with fashion week coming up and everything so I'm really excited for that vlog. I love you bestie smooches and you guys make my world spin and there's nothing I would do without you guys. I'm posting now every Wednesday. If I don't do so, you can come for me. This is your opportunity. If I do not do it every Wednesday, come for me in my DMs. <laughs> I cannot wait for everything that's to come and I am so grateful for you guys' support and love and I seriously just cannot wait for this year just to grow together as a fam and also my DMs are always open, my comments are always open. I'm always here for you if you need advice or if you have any questions for me. I'm here, I'm your big sister, I got you and I love you. Bye!